Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Skull. I, while well, off recording, because it's not camera or screen, I, I was going to, I told myself, I haven't, I haven't uh, checked on the flowers recently. So I checked the flowers, and they're pretty bad. So, I went, maybe I should uh, just water these, because I don't know if people need to see this. But watering them doesn't help. They're just... They're dead. So... I went to Basil's house. And instead of me walking all the way there to go walk back. It gave me this. And I couldn't go to his house. So I feel like I can't... I got a lot of bad letters, apparently. No more bad letters. <laughs> But the point is, I need to finish this off before I can go back to Basil's house. And the letters that I need are C and K. C is between giant pinwheels. So I was going to be here and look around to see if I can find it. Because giant pinwheels are in this forest. And a K? In the Hall of Framed Faces. I only assume where I went before I recorded, so... Uh, there is... There is a past boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, of Sweetheart, that is in the dungeons of her castle. And... There's a wall of... Well, no portraits. Just unmade portraits. We could pay him for them. And yes, I feel like it might end up there. But... To get the last letter, we need to find a K in the Hall of Portraits. So hopefully we can find something like that. So I'm gonna wander through here and see if I can find that letter. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I also want to say this. Uh, let's see, what do I press for map? There's a button for map, wasn't there? M? No, I'm using M. This? That? This? I don't know what button I'm pressing. Well, anyways, there's a map and there is a place in this forest that you can climb to space in here too. But we couldn't go here in the beginning because we were afraid of heights. So, most likely the thing's up here. Amongst the fog and the clouds. All right, Cal, time to shine. Time to shoot something. A melon? Gimme. Spaghetti? That's the first spaghetti I got. No, no, I don't need no, uh, fog bunnies. I am going to need to slice down these, uh, things with my dull knife. Oh! <laughs> Come on! Why did I have to get lost again? You gave him a map. Oh, hi! Huh? Is this a map? Wait, I can see Top Hat's seal on it. By golly, this must be directions to the party! Thank you so much, kind stranger. I'll I'll talk to you at the party. See, he's on the bench. There he is. Oh, oh, there we go. Found you. Now we just need to get K. One key left. Also, when I was watching my sister, she went through these black holes that got placed. I missed out on so many of these, apparently. Hi. Yeah, he just wanted to show his eyeball. Nice to see you're still in one piece. Why are you doing, you know what, I don't mind. You're up here like, by means of whatever reason. You're in garbage places and such. And in uh, Sweet Heart's dungeon. You're everywhere. Your friends swarm swarmling, smiling behind you. Boy stares at his kite in deep concentration. Do you want to disturb him? No. Because I feel like if we talk to him, it might... It might fly away. And I don't want that. Something my sister did. If you guys remember, if you were watching this from the beginning. Space Boy's hallway in the back of his uh, spaceship house thing. There was an alignment of uh, all the planets. And then you could literally choose to fight Earth or not. 
My sister did. Destroyed it. She, her, in her file, she has no earth. <laughs> so, yeah. Let me just uh, do this. Because I'm not sure how long ago this is meant to be happening. I got, it's, it's like you're available to do this since, uh, since you go to space. So what's the picnic thing here for? Or doing? Weird. What's the talk, what talking topic? Gah, my ears popped again! Oh yeah, that feeling. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. That tends to happen with the elevation. What? Did you say something? <laughs> I said... Your ears popped! Because of the elevation! <laughs> Shh, keep it down. It's not just us here. Can't you see that boy with the kite? It looks like he's concentrating really hard. Oops. Sorry, Kite Kid. <laughs> Alright, so nothing of necessary story value. But, not bad. It's <laughs> still good. Uh, so hopefully I can figure out where the, uh, the Hall of Faces, Hall of Portraits are. What was it again? Wait, wait, okay. Hall of Framed Faces. Is that... An is that? I'll have to check that out in the in in Sweetheart's Castle, whether it's our faces or or um uh in her other study area, her 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 fan based murals. I'll see you guys back at deep well, deeper well. Oh, he finished one. La Gasp! You have returned! Please admire my latest masterpiece. It is already framed in the gallery ahead. <laughs> Untitled. By the great artist Rococo. Hey, I'm just starting out, okay? Give me a break. <laughs> please let your portraits be better as they come, please. Well, are you happy with my masterpiece? <laughs> just so you know, as my skills become more formidable, my commission rates will also increase. The next masterpiece will cost you 5,000 clams. Continue to assist me on my journey of self-discovery. Sure. I mean, I get money like crazy. La Magnifique! Please return after some time for more adventure. After all, greatness takes time. Alright, I'll see you then. And if this is how it goes, you have to buy the last letter. Because the Hall of, Port uh, Hall, of Hall of Faces? Wait, what was it called again? I keep forgetting. <laughs> Hall of Portraits or Hall of... Yeah, Hall of Fame Faces. These are our faces, I believe. So, yeah. Now, actually, it's a deeper well. Um, unless, like, I'm gonna search through uh, the gallery in her castle, Sweetheart's castle, and if it's not there, then it might be here, but I have to pay. See you in the next cutscene. Well, what do you know? It is here. Apparently, I never went down here or grabbed this. Guess what? Zero keys left. Welcome to black space. Because we were always in white space whenever we came back into this dream world. Now... Now we have to go to black space. Wait. Immediately? Immediately? Wait, we still have... We still have the deeper well to go through. Oh. Oh, this is... There's black goo coming out of his house. We're not here, are we? We're still at... The floor is definitely opening. A 
guess we have a journey ahead of us after uh, we go back to Deeper Well. Of course, I'm going to save before that. Because. Hi. We're going to come see you. We're going to bring cupcakes and spaghetti. Okay, I forgot. Forget about the cupcakes. I don't think we have cupcakes. Tasty sodas? Well, I guess we're ready to go back to Deeper Well. I'm going to save. Once I find a save point, go to Deeper Well and see where that takes us. Because that was where we're going. But we're totally going to go back to Basil's house to see what Black Dark Black Space is. There's a hole here. Go in the hole? Yes. Where does hole lead? I missed out on so many of these holes, mind you. So I apologize. <laughs> I thought they were just a scar in the ground from where the letter was just residing. Don't worry, they always come back to the main area. At least that's what I believe they are. Hello. Stay away. You are not my son. Okay. All right, we're back to Deeper Well, and we're gonna touch this mortal, whirlpool thing. Where are you leading us? We have to get back for, for uh, Basil's black space house. So don't take us too far away. You have come again to seek the truth. Each time your adventure may be desperate. But as your journey nears its end, it will always lead you back here. The truth. The truth is always the same. Well, because we're having a brand new journey, we do not know what the truth was that you told us or we saw or anything of the sort. The path to the truth was once here, but it has been removed. It was moved to the lighthouse and appear. Then to a library banished deep underground. And after that to an old barn in a distant planet. I think we might have been into a barn. And this time it will be in the heart of a vast forest. <gasps> Basil's house! So we are going back to Basil's house. No matter how many times the path is concealed, the flower boy will always find it. And your dear sister, Mari, she will always guide you to it. Even as hollow shells, they will continue to evolve. And each time, they will grow wings and fly too close to the sun. It is their nature. They are the only ones who know, and one has carried it with her to her grave. Mari? Death may be no danger here, but the memories of them do not fade so easily. Many times your friends have met with an unfortunate fate, like work and college and your mother wanting you to move and such. Although they are revived time and again, the most haunting stay in this world, even if they, sorry, even if only their bones remain. The long lost ones sink here to the bottom of the deep well and become nothing. You have forsaken them Yet they still yearn for your care. Their souls know nothing but how to scream for help. Do you take pity on them? So our friends have been long lost and end up in deep well. Your dear sister Mari with a bad knee. You could not bear for her to die again. So she was given the safety of a picnic blanket. So she couldn't follow us because she had a bad knee? 
So you kept giving her special locations. Because this is a dream world. Yet it is here. It, it, bleh, bleh, bleh. Sorry. Let me try that again. Yet it is her nature to lead and to protect. And when she does, she will leave you again and be born anew. With the undying soul that you have cursed her with. He doesn't want her to go. I guess that's it. I think that might be it. He doesn't want her to let her go. And those that are special to us, we don't want to let them go. But in our dreams, in our dreams and in our minds, they're always with us. Is that what's recommending? Uh, re uh, re representing? The souls assigned to your friends. They are fragile and must be protected. And so they must remain asleep. Yet, the path to the truth is closer to your most precious room than ever before. Will you be able to bury it this time? Perhaps it is too late for you. If I'm not catching something, I'm sorry. The piano? Because it did, it did uh, show a piano with a Mori on it, and a piano in our house when we were awake. And it had the, uh, the shades over it. And when Mari left us in the other episode, it, in, in this dreamscape it is, she left through a curtain. You know of the keys to the other realm. They are different each time. But they will unlock the same door. The end of this journey will lead to suffering. But if you do not face this, you cannot continue. This form, though it has not shown its true self, is evil. You will not see that unless you fight it. When your intentions become hazy, they will transpire into this world like a thick fog. You will know when it happens. It has already happened before. At that time, return to where the truth was reborn, to the heart of the forest. And like each time before it, attempt to rewrite your fate. Will you be doomed to repeat this cycle over and over, or will you break it? Explore this world while you can, dreamer, until there is nothing left. Stating that this is the last bit of the road. Once I go to Basil's house, it's over. Oh, we just had a void in our cupboards. Great! The cash shaped full. Is this forever bean still good? Single bean on a plate. Nice. Still good. Waiting for something to happen. Oh, yep, trust me. Things are about to happen. The garden's probably completely dissolved by now. I didn't really fight anything, so I don't need any nutritious candy. But it's nice to know that you can get healthy it's eating candy. I guess this is it. Eternal banana? Are you still eternal? Yes. Good on you, eternal banana. Hi, Basil. Or the shadow of. It's time. This episode might be longer, but yeah, I guess it is. Yep, they're all dead. These sunflowers, they're called that because they always face towards the sun. That's how I want to be like, someone who always sees the bright side of things. I doubt I can water them, but I'll still try. Yeah, didn't think so.
These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. It's said that they're able to ward off evil plant spirits, plants, and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why it reminded me of Mari. I can always count on her to help me stay positive. Roses come in many different colors and have their own unique meaning. Pink roses symbolize admiration. Orange roses symbolize passion. Yellow roses symbolize friendship. And the list goes on. Hero doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. I think. <laughs> Bless you. Bless me. Bless myself. I think Hero is like all roses because he's versatile and universally loved. These are a type of flower called the gladius, also known as the sword flower. As you might guess, they represent strength of character. Someone who is honest and with strong moral values. Someone who stands by their convictions. The gladius reminds me of Aubrey because she's always true to herself. The cactus has died this time. All this time, you never needed to water them, and now they're gone. Cactus are very sturdy and resilient plants by nature. They don't need much care and can survive even in seamlessly impossible conditions. I guess what I'm saying is that even you could take care of a cactus, Kel. And these, these are white tulips. Tulips aren't very flashy plants. They're not too big or small, not too elaborate or flamboyant. If I could put it in any other way, I guess I would say that they're comfortable, simple, modest, and perfect. Just like Clem. Not Amori. Clem. I'm only doing it here because I'm wondering. Guess not. Holy smoke, sorry, fog, a uh, uh, cloud of thick air. Mari, where's your picnic basket? I was sure it was around here somewhere. Mari? Mari, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. This won't die. It's now dying. Everything is dying. I'm pretty sure this path was not this long before. Everything is dead. Except for that tree. That tree is fine. The trees that lead to his place are at least fine. Then when you go inside, nothing is. Can't talk to the... Seaweed hands. Oh, Amori? I'm scared. Let's... Let's go back. We can't. I mean, we can possibly, but... We're not going to. Unless it's a choice, but I feel like the game must proceed. Beat me up, Basil. Alright. I guess, since this is already... 26 minutes at this point as I see on the clock. It might be 24 or so minutes for you for me cutting a few things out. Next is next episode is probably going to be the last one. I don't want to state it's going to be because there's been game series that I played before that actually just didn't it end when I thought it was going to happen. So yeah, that's all I can really state. Thank you guys for joining me today on this episode and I'll hopefully see you in the last one or at least the next one depending on what the next one stands for 
See you next time. Thank you.